The Christian soldier wears the shoes of the gospel to stand in the evil day. Listen to what Ephesians says. Have as shoes for your feet, having put on the readiness given by the gospel of peace. It's interesting that a soldier's shoes weren't made for running. They were made for standing. Uh, we're told in history that the Roman soldier would uh, have like cleats uh, in his boots so that he could just dig in and stand. The idea is not running, but standing in the evil day. And it's interesting that the kind of shoes we wear are gospel shoes uh, and the readiness given by it. Perhaps uh, maybe that is telling us that our feet must always be ready to share good news, even in the evil day. And you think of uh, this whole matter of evangelism or sharing good news with other believers or with other uh, sinners that do not know Christ. Uh, are you ready to share the good news at any time? Don't run from the good news. Don't deny the good news. Don't doubt the good news, but be ready to share it. Uh, nothing could ruin the soldier any quicker than bad shoes. He had to have good shoes to make it as a soldier. What are you standing in? Uh, do you repeat the gospel for yourself? Uh, I love the writings of Jerry Bridges, and he talks about uh, he has to flee to the gospel every day. He has to trust the gospel. Every day he has to remind himself, how did you get into this army? Uh, when did you sign up in this army? He signed up through the gospel. And many of us are battling that we don't lose the gospel in the midst of church programs, church budgets, church building programs, uh, this program, this agenda. If we lose the gospel, friend, we've lost the battle. We will, have, we will no longer stand for the truth of the gospel. See, we have a message. Are we ready? Are we resting in it? Are we sharing it today on the job? Wherever you are, be ready. Be ready in taking your stand in this world that's on fire and at war with God. Be ready to share the good news. The only way a sinner can ever see God face to face and not be burned to ashes is the gospel. The only thing God is leaving the church here to do is to build up his people, to share the gospel with the lost world. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are your feet are, are your feet running to gossip? Are your feet running as a busybody? What are you? What are, uh, your feet is the idea of bearing a message, going somewhere. The Bible said, "Beautiful are the feet of those who bear good news." Beautiful. Well, it, you look around. I've never seen anybody with pretty feet. That's why we keep them covered. Maybe uh, there's no attractive feet. Feet were meant to be attractive. They were meant to get you there. They were meant to enable you to stand. And God says, I want your feet covered with good news. I want your feet to stand on the solid gospel. And we're not talking about Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, but the message, the good news about Jesus Christ, that he would take our place on the cross and three days after dying, rise again and now say, I have defeated the devil. I will defeat death someday. And I am a savior that loves sinners. Oh, let us be ready to tell a lost world that God has good news for them. It's all found in Jesus Christ.